Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash. Yahweh is the name of the Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be, Ba'in, Hada, Sham, name, Yahweh Shai, being the only begotten Son, meaning He delivers, He saves, Rechak Wadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Milson, are well, peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball, man. All right. Back at it again with another list of the Spirit and Power. Yahweh Bashem Shai, Lord willing, is less than is edifying. It's an assembly line. Be grateful for your position. Okay. And what I mean by that is this past weekend, I had the pleasure and the privilege to uh, camp with the Miami brothers and the Tampa brothers. And, um, you know, we were just chopping it up about basically, uh, you know, the Lord giving every member of the body their own portion. OK, and you might want to look at the next brother's portion and covet his position and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know, every position of the body matters, man. OK, and the brother was talking about how he works in a, a welding and it was saying, like, you know, how can he do his job if the next man is worried about if the next man in front of him is worried about what he's doing behind him? You know, the next man basically sets up for the next for the next brother you know so basically like how you so overly worried about what this brother's position is doing and you're not handling your own office man you know or how you so worried about how this brother got these gifts and you're not focusing on your own gifts and your own traits and qualities man that is important as well to bring to the body man okay now you can righteously covet as the scriptures speak about you know you can uh righteously co covet have godly jealousy all right, let's just say covet the best gifts, you know, or uh, Alicia wanted a double portion of Elijah's spirit. All right. But that's in you got you to do that in righteousness. You know, righteously coveting pretty much is like you see a brother has a certain quality. You're like, man, I want to tap into that quality. But you're not envious of the brother in wickedness or in a malicious way. You're just like, man, I like that. You know, I would rather I can partake in that as well. OK, but you also have to remember that you have your own lot. You have your own gifts and your own traits, man. And your own mission. Scriptures say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Let me start with that. Philippians 2 and 12. It says, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, Work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we all have to work out our own salvation. We all have to give account what we've done in these bodies. We all must come for the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashmashai, you know, for what we've done and what we're responsible to be doing, man. Okay? So we have to fulfill our office and fulfill our lots. This is the book of John um, 21. And Verse 19, it says, This spake he signifying, but what death he should glorify the Most High. This is uh, Yahweh Shai speaking to Peter in the parable that he spoke to him in verse 18 that was telling him how, you know, Peter was going to die. Right? It says, And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. He's talking to Peter, right? Then Peter turning about, seeth the disciple whom Yahweh Shai loved, following, which was uh, John, all right, which also leaned on his breast at supper. And said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter, seeing him, said to Yahweh Shai, Lord, and what shall this man do? Right? So Peter was worrying about what John was going to be doing. What did Yahweh Shai say to him? Yahweh Shai saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Okay? So the Lord was like, shit, what's it got to do with you? If I want him to wait till I come back, what's that got to do with you? Follow me. I told you to follow me. Basically telling Peter to look, worry about your own lot. All right. Where, you know, my own business, pretty much, you know, in a righteous sense. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't check on brothers or, you know, you can't think about another brother's lot. But it's like at the end of the day, the main thing is to be focused on what you need to do, man. All right. So that all the body is functioning at a high efficiency. OK. First Corinthians 15 to 23, it says, but every man in his own order, Mashiach, the first fruits afterward, they that are Mashiach's at his coming. That's right. So everybody's going to get the kingdom in their own order. 
you know, according to their position, according to their lot, all right, in their measure of faith. All right, so like so say, some 64, some 34, some 104, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay? But everybody got their own lot, you know, and we have to make sure to fulfill our lot. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be looking at the next brother, you know, envying what that brother got. You don't know what that brother be going through to even have that lot in the first place, man, because it might look all glitz and glamour on the outside, but behind the scenes, man, brothers be brothers be catching hell to keep them humble. Like the Apostle Paul said, he, uh, lest he should be exalted through the abundance of, re of the revelations, it was given a message of, of Satan to buffet him, man. So, you know, a part of the balance of the Lord giving brothers heavy spirits is they catch a lot of hell, man. All right, and they go through a lot of shit, you know. So you might not be able to handle that. Yeah, you want the uh, you want that portion of the spirit, but can you handle the back end of it? Can you handle the chastisement? So on and so forth, man. You know? This is uh, 1 Corinthians. Like, yeah, which I told him. Hey, he told the sons of thunder. He said, uh, you know, you want to... Uh, you want to be sitting on my left hand and my right hand, but you don't know what you ask of. Are you able to drink of this cup and this baptism where I'm being baptized with? And they say, yes, Lord. He said, verily, you're going to drink of that cup. But to sit on my right hand on my left is not of me, but it's of my father, which prepared it for them. So basically saying, look, every man's lot is already prepared of the heavenly father because the Lord is the one who gave you the lot that you have. The Lord is the one who put you in the position of the church that you're in, man. As it says in Romans, the 12th chapter. Romans 12 and 3, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the most high hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Mashiach, and everyone members one of another having then gifts deferring according to the grace that is given to us. Whether well, prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness, man. You see, so everybody got their own lot. It says, according as the Most High have dealt to every man measure of faith. So the Lord is the reason why you got what you got, man. And Yahweh Bashem Shah, it pleased the Heavenly Father to put you in the position that you're in. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 17. It says, if the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? Right? But now, so basically going to show you what? That if the whole body, just everybody had the same lot, same position. Every brother was the same. There was no diversity. You know, where would be the other offices that needed to be fulfilled? Not every brother is a fiery, fire and brimstone prophet brother. Some brothers are more laid back and reserved, but those are all necessary, man. All those components are necessary. Some brothers be more cutthroat than others. Some brothers be more merciful than others. All those positions are necessary, man. Okay? It says, but now hath Yahweh Bashmashai set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. So it, it pleased the Lord to make you in the position, whatever position you are in the camp. It pleased the Lord to put you in that position, man. You should really be grateful that you're in the camp, that you know the truth, that you know Yahweh Bashmashah, that you're, you know, teaching and whatnot. All right. Because truly, that's a privilege. And not everyone is fortunate enough to have that privilege. Not everyone's fortunate enough to even know the Yahweh Bashmashah and know this truth, man. Let alone be in a camp and be diligent. You know? So stop getting all uh, out of whack and worried about what another brother got. Focus on what you got, man. You're you are who you are and you're only going to be who you are, man. You can never be another brother. You can learn from another brother. You can emulate another brother, you know, in righteousness, but you can never be another brother. You're only going to be you. So be the best version of you. Make your calling and election sure. All right. Fulfill your lot. It says, and if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members yet but one body, man? And that's exactly what we are. We're one body in Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Truly. All right. But a uh, body has more than one body part. And your human body 
You know, you got all these different body parts and they all play a role. Okay? So that's the point on that right there. I realized that this lesson was edifying. I'm going to close out with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and all those great most of that were well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all.